Daisy the diesel rail car had learned a valuable lesson when her refusal to pull her milk van had led to Percy becoming perched awkwardly atop an old brake van. The fat controller had given her a second chance, which she was determined not to squander. Percy and Daisy had not spoken since the accident. Percy still blamed Daisy for what had happened and avoided her every turn. This made Daisy feel very sad. She tried to explain herself to anyone who would listen, but everyone was so tired of hearing it that it fell on deaf ears. Thomas, however, had been at the works at the time of Percy's accident and did not fully understand what had happened, which, I'm sorry to say, made him Daisy's newest sounding board. And then Percy ended up on top of the brake van, Thomas repeated one afternoon after Daisy ran through the story for the umpteenth time. And then he ended up on the brake van! Oh dear! She cried. Thomas was running out of kind things to say. He was beginning to get annoyed. The next day, Thomas dozed in a sighting before his morning passenger train. He awoke to hear Daisy approaching. Here we go again he muttered under his breath. Thomas, do you think I'm horrid for what I did? She screeched. Thomas lost patience. Daisy, I don't have time to listen to your story again. I've got a train to take. Oh, you're just like the others. I asked for help and I met with a cold buffer. Stuff and nonsense, Thomas seethed. You've not asked for anything, only repeated the same story over and over again. What is it you actually want, Daisy? for Percy to like me again. Thomas sighed. Why don't you talk to Percy? That would clear the air between the two of you. Oh, Daisy sighed. I couldn't do that. Why not? He might yell at me. Thomas chuckled to himself. He knew that Percy was not the kind of engine to yell at anyone. Later that day, Thomas found Percy in the station yard preparing to take a goods train to the harbor. Percy, Thomas started. That Daisy thinks she's so prim and proper. Can't even pull one van. If she hadn't done that, I never would have offered to pull Toby's trucks. And I never would have ended up on that blasted van. Thomas rolled his eyes and listened patiently. As the week went on, both Daisy and Percy complained about the other whenever they saw Thomas. Anytime he tried to talk sense into either of them, he was met with an even louder fussing. This is getting out of hand, laughed Thomas's driver. We better do something, quick. And he whispered to Thomas. Of course, Thomas said. Why didn't I think of that before? The next morning, Percy pulled into the station yard to see that Daisy's milk van was gone. Phew, that's good, he said, but then, Daisy came in, red in the face. Where's my milk van? I'll be late if I don't. She saw Percy and stopped dead in her tracks. The two glared at each other for a long time. Where is my milk van? She asked through her gritted teeth. That's what I'd like to know. Did you get Tolly to pull it for you again? W what? Certainly not. The nerve. The two began bickering but they were interrupted by the station master. Stop arguing, you two. If we don't find that milk van, the fat controller will be cross. It looks like you two will just have to work together to find it. What? Me? Work with him? Daisy gasped. Me? Work with her? Percy snapped. The station master made it very clear. The fat controller did not like misplaced trucks. I know it was right here, Percy said. Well, it's not here now, scolded Daisy. Will you just be quiet and help me? I am helping. You're just too stubborn to admit that we've looked in the same spot over and over again. Yes, well, you're too stubborn to admit your mistake about the milk van before. I wouldn't have landed on that brake van if you had just done what you were told. It was all out in the open now. Daisy looked down at her buffers, ashamed. I'm sorry, Percy. I had no idea that all of that would have led to your accident. Honestly, I didn't. 
Percy was disarmed. He fully expected Daisy to defend herself. Why do you think I take my milk van now? I'm trying to make it up to you, Percy. Now Percy felt ashamed too. I accept your apology, Daisy. I'm sorry for keeping a grudge for this long. It's been really silly that we've been arguing over a milk van. Why, if I hadn't been more careful with those trucks, I might have avoided the accident altogether. And for the first time, the two smiled at one another. Then, Thomas rolled into the yard with the milk van in tow. Ah, you see? I knew this would help you two sell your differences. Percy and Daisy leered at Thomas. Ah, so you're the one who stole the milk van, Daisy scoffed. That was really irresponsible of you, Thomas, Percy bellowed. Thomas tried to explain, but it was to no use. Soon, Percy and Daisy were giving him an earful about the importance of not messing with other engines' trucks. That's what I get for helping, said Thomas, but he said it to himself. <laughs>